See, I heard there was supposed to be a tornado tonight. The only storm you're gonna hear is my rage behind this microphone. See, they say that villains never get happy endings. But well, we've got plenty of red in our ledger and no amount of bleach will ever get these blood stains off of these pages. No clean slates offered across tables of negotiation will ever make our association pure again. You ever wonder how it feels to know that your good nature could be twisted against you all because you tried to trust? Victimized by lust that you turned a blind eye to because you swore your brother in Christ would never hurt you. To know that everyone expects the world from you and would never respect you for falling short of godhood because they could never afford for Atlas to prove himself mortal under the crushing weight of generations of mistakes and failures sown before he was born. See, these curses are my clothing. A gift from the garden of good and evil I was grown in but only received once I realized how flawed I was from the jump and still decided to pursue my blueprint's perfection. And maybe you were just attracted to the fruits of my labor no matter how painful the thorn seemed to be because it couldn't keep you away from tainting my transition into manhood. You made me. And if I didn't have these black holes in my recollection, I would claim that you raped me. I gave you my weaknesses and you betrayed me. Asking me to trade my innocence in exchange for the acceptance I so desperately chased after thinking it would make me unstoppable, but instead made me less of the man I wanted to be and more of a monster. Go ahead, ask every one of my recent exes and every girl that I've talked to why they've departed, and they'll point back at the scars acting as your signature, a name I tried to strike through, cut off, copy and paste, artificial layers of stability over, and yet somehow the thought always seems to fight its way to the forefront. And no matter how many times I've managed to suppress this madness, there are relationships built to carry my baggage, so I've sunk every vessel sent to rescue me from my guilt, and my demons took swimming lessons from Michael Phelps, so they'll never drown no matter how many swimming pools of liquor I swan dive into. Mm. Wow. See, I had a conversation with God, and I told him, told him about you, and he told me to leave you and the situation in his hands so that I wouldn't be tempted to use my own to introduce you, him, you to him personally. To introduce you to him personally. Because then it occurred to me that only the Creator could mend the broken men, repair broken bonds, and restore to us some form of sanity. See, at one point I considered you part of my extended family. And maybe that's why lately it seems that you never seem to lose an ounce of sleep. Meanwhile, I can't seem to locate rest or peace. Probably won't get either until I'm resting in peace. And believe me when I say I have tried. Come close to the point of no return. And just happen to lack enough courage to finish the job. Too proud to swallow pills. Too scared to slip my wrist or suffocate my way to God. Because mm -hmm. that is... As hard as, it, as, hard as, it, as hard as it is for me to accept, even today you still won't admit that what you did to me was wrong for reasons beyond lacking consent. All you do is chalk it up to harmless experimentation that you claim every man does in college. Well, if we can't talk man to man and have an honest conversation about it, let me address my audience. Go ahead, tell it to my next girl who will never get to be my ex-girl because she's going to pass me over what she understands as poem. Tell us the good thing that I will never find, the wife that I will never have, because what virtuous woman of God wants a man who's been violated by another man? Mm. Tell it to my father if he'll bother to give you the time to entertain your sugar-coated testimony, even though the truth is the only reason you can pinpoint my Achilles heels is because daddy never taught his namesake how to protect it. Tell it to the children that will never know a home unbroken because how could I ever trust myself to raise up blameless offspring with this unforgivable blemish on my permanent record? And please, tell it to my family if ever you meet them because I want to see the look on their faces when the image of your sainthood that I painted for them is shattered easily against the truth. The only reason I've been unable to get my freedom all these years is because I've been chained in the mistake I made in looking for love and settling for you. See, I ran away from home and called it a going away to school. 
And only now do I understand the value of what I left behind because back then all I wanted to do was leave behind the loser that I had been before I came to Oakwood. Instead, I should have been more concerned with praying to God for a guide who wouldn't derail my destiny or drag me on a detour through hell and back. Well, tonight I'm determined to return what I owe you, sir. See, villains don't get happy endings. And as far as the story is concerned, Frankenstein's monster is too far gone to expect any happily ever after. So if I have to sacrifice us both up here just to give my soul some relief, believe me when I say I'm not afraid to pay that toll. We're gonna die out here on this stage together. And even if they crucify me first, I will expire with a prayer on my lips asking the Father to forgive you and your kind for doing what thou wilt. Because hellfire never learned the concept of mercy. And if I have to go another day without being unable to purge these memories out of my mind, I would rather die than continue on being, un being unable to burn these pages out of my notebook.